Do your camping supplies look like this when you return from a camping trip? Ours too. In this video, you'll find tips for organizing your camping supplies and you'll get to see everything that we bring with us for our camping trips. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jess from Miles from Missouri. In this video, we're going to talk about how we organize all of our camping supplies into these totes and share some tips on how we pack and organize our things for our camping trip. Hopefully this helps you on your upcoming trip. Come along and check it out. We purchased these totes from Sam's Club. They were about $8 a piece and we pur purchased four of them. I have them numbered. I just put numbers on them with um, sticky vinyl that I cut on my Silhouette machine. I numbered them one through four, and then I also created um, lists of what is in each tote to keep inside, taped on the lid, to help us know what goes in what tote and make things easier to find when we're setting up or breaking down camp. Tote number one is our kitchen tote. So on our list for our kitchen tote, it has everything that's in there, um, and then I have it organized into smaller totes and wash bins, so things are easy to find and locate. The first item I have is our collapsible um, lunch cooler. We use this if we're going to take a picnic with us um, or want to keep drinks cold in the car. It folds up flat, so it's really great to have. Our next item is a reusable tablecloth. I actually got this for a dollar at Walmart on clearance and we've used it about three times, so it definitely um, runs a little bit cheaper and it's reusable, unlike those throwaway tablecloths. Of course, we have paper plates and paper towels. I kind of just reuse this stuff until we get lower run out and then I refill it once we get home. This is a protein shake container. Um, it's great because it's hard plastic and has a screw on lid. And on this one, I keep our sugar for our coffee, um, seasoning for our popcorn, grill seasoning, and some salt and pepper. It all packs in there really nice and I don't have to worry about things busting or spilling um, in the tote on the drive. I do keep leftover um, marshmallows and graham crackers if we have them after our trips. I try to um, keep the marshmallows in a Ziploc so they stay nice and fresh. We have been working on this big bottle of syrup for our pancakes whenever we're camping. And I actually have one more um, Jiffy Pop popcorn left for our next trip. I have these two bins which actually sit in top of the tote. Um, these are our wash bins whenever we need to wash um, any dishes. So I just fill one with soapy water, one with clean water. We wash in this one, we rinse in this one. And then I'll show you what I use to dry our dishes here in a minute. Of course we have fly water more sticks. I actually got these Hershey sticks on clearance um, at Target a couple years ago and they are heavy duty and really nice. We have aluminum foil, some dish soap for when we are somewhere with a uh, like a wash station and some sponges. These are um, disinfecting wipes I use to wipe down the tables before we cook, after we eat to kind of get rid of the smell. Um, of food so no little critters come around trying to see what we have for dinner. We found this cutlery set at Walmart actually. I think it was only like five dollars or so. Um, it has forks, knives, and spoons and it's great because the lid can pop off, go back on. We just put this on the table um, with our plates and paper towels and keep them out at all times since they have the lid so that's kind of nice. We also purchased a just a cheap coffee pot uh, from Walmart. I think it was only like $10. And we do camp on electric sites, so if you don't have an electric site, of course this won't work for you. But we just have a cheap coffee pot to make coffee in the morning. And then I put some coffee filters in a gallon size ziplock and just keep them in here with the coffee pot. And then the last thing in here, I purchased this tote from Target. I believe it's a 16 quart tote, um, it was like $3, but it fits really nice in the bottom of this tote and I can still stack stuff on top of it. But I keep our smaller things in here, like we do have a long knife and then a little paring knife just in case we need it. We haven't used it yet, um, but it's good to have in case we need it. In here we have some throwaway lunch containers. 
Um, I purchased these when we went to Michigan to use for like fruit and sandwiches to take with us on our picnic and we didn't even use them. We just threw everything in the cooler. So that was my plan. Um, I think these are probably good to have if you can fit them because you can use them if you need them. I have scissors and they always go right at the top so they're easy to find because you are gonna need these for a lot more things than just your kitchen. I have corn cob holders. I have a set, uh, not for everyone. I purchased these at Dollar Tree. They are shower cups and they come in a set of six. Um, I haven't opened them yet, but I bought them to put over our plates on the table so critters don't get into them. I have a can opener. I have another one of these shake containers um, and it holds all of our condiments. So barbecue sauce, mild sauce, ranch, ketchup, mustard, that type of stuff. I, when we first started camping, I was using like full bottles of condiments and it was just a lot to pack. And if once we opened it, it needed to stay cold. Um, that wasn't really working. So when we go to restaurants, I ask for extra ketchup, extra ranch, whatever it may be. The kids love ranch and ketchup, so that's what's mostly in here. Um, and then I just take these with us and it's easy to use. We don't have to worry about keeping a bottle. Um, one thing, I had these in a Ziploc up until our last trip. And I noticed that when we were shoving the totes in the truck or shoving the lids on or stacking things, these were popping inside the Ziploc the condiments were, so I had a huge mess. Um, so I found these shake containers reusable, and I just put all of our condiments, all of our condiments in there, and hopefully now they won't pop. I have a bottle opener, corkscrew, just in case we need it. These little foil pans come in a three pack. They are, let's see, nine by six and I get them at Walmart. Uh, they come in a three pack and I use them for baked beans. We put, just open the can, pour our beans in here and set them on the Blackstone. Um, we've also put rice in these, anything small that you don't really wanna put on the Blackstone top, put in these, cover it with foil, set it on there and it cooks great. I have extra Ziplocs. I have sandwich size and gallon size inside of this bag. Um, Always, always bring extra Ziplocs, whether it's for your phone or for the kids to collect sand and rocks at the beach. Um, we also use the gallon size to put our bacon and sausage in after we eat the first morning so it stays fresh for the next morning. We have can koozies, of course our KYD koozie. If you don't follow Keep Your J Dream on YouTube, check them out. They're fabulous. We have towels. And I actually just got this one. Camping is my therapy. It's so cute. As a gift. Hand towels, kitchen towels, whatever you need them for. Another mitt in case we are um, taking anything on and off the grill like this. And then last I have this mesh laundry bag I got at Dollar Tree. I've seen this in a lot of YouTube videos. Um, this is one of the first purchases I made when we decided we were going to be camping. I use this mesh laundry bag to put our dishes in and to hang them up, <clears throat> whether it be on the clothesline or on a tree or whatever. When they're wet, um, put our clean dishes in here, hang them up, let them dry. They're out of the way. I don't have to have like a drying station on the picnic table taking up space. And this packs down so small. So that is really great um, for dish drying, simple and easy. So that is our kitchen tote. That is our number one tote. And I will share um, all of our lists with you. Um, I'll share a link to our Google Drive list for each of our totes. I put them in these clear plastic um, page protectors, sheet protectors, I guess. And what my plan is, is to tape them, tape these lists to the inside of the tote lid. And then that way, um, we know what we're supposed to have. We know what's supposed to be in here. And then when we get home, we can also go through this list and say, okay, we need more Ziplocs or I need to remember to wash the dish towels or we need more, um, you know, cutlery or whatever. So everything is on this list. And then I also left space to write things down as I remember or add new things to the list. All right, tote number two. This is our bedding tote. 
our first camping trip to Savannah, Georgia, we put all of our bedding um, in, I think in trash bags, and it took up so much space. Our backflip didn't close properly, it was awful. Second trip, we invested in jumbo space bags. Sucked them, the air out of them, um, with a vacuum here at home, and they came with a hand pump, so at the campsite we could take the air back out of them. They worked great at first. After the first trip, every single one of them had holes. So, that didn't go so well. I exchanged them for a new set. Um, same thing, after the trip, they had holes. So we returned those, and I said, I'm just gonna make everything fit the tote and make it work. So, um, I have our towels in here, I have our bedding in here. For me and the girls, I bought these hair wraps um, for showers. You put them on, wrap your hair up, um, and let it dry. These take up a lot less space than a regular towel. So I have three of these. I use just our big old beach towels. Um, that's best for not worrying about getting, you know, your good towels dirty. Um, and also they're big so they double as if you need to set them out on the grass or the picnic table. So that's nice. So I have six towels, one for each person in the family, one for the dog, and an extra one. For our bedding, I just used what we already had that we weren't using at home and I went to Goodwill. So for Brad and I, we have a full size, um, or no, not a full size, a queen air mattress. So I have a queen size sheet. I have this big, heavy, like cotton blanket. Ooh, it's unfolding. Um, that I got from Goodwill. That's our comforter. And then I have a top sheet and a fleece blanket to put under. So I put this down on top of the mattress. And then I put the fitted sheet over it because the air inside the mattress gets cold even in the summertime and we are freezing. So this layer between us is really nice. And then for the girls, they each have a fleece blanket um, that they take with them in the back of the truck because it saves space in the stove. They're always cold, hot, cold, hot. So letting them have a blanket back there just works and it saves me space. And then they each have a comforter that they cover up with and then their sleeping bags go underneath of them on their kiddo bunk system. Their sleeping bags don't fit in this tote, but you know, they're compact in those bags, so we just kind of shove them in the truck. That's one of the last things. So I have two twin size comforters. And then this is my favorite blanket. So I've been looking for like those Mexican blankets. We had a ton of them when I was little and now like I, don't, I can't find them anywhere. On Amazon, they're like $30 and I'm like, no, that's not happening. So when we were going to Michigan, we stopped at Wally's gas station in Illinois and they had these blankets for $8, $8. I only got one, I wanted like all the colors, but I only got one. So we have this super cute Mexican blanket I'm gonna use for the hammock, like our last trip, it just stayed in the hammock. Um, and also, I think I can probably get some really cute Instagram pictures with it. So that's our bedding tote, towels, all of our blankets, all of our sheets. Um, this so far has been the best way I have found to pack blankets. There might be a better way. If you know a better way, let me know. But as of right now, this is what's working best for us. Moving on to tote number three. This is our setup tote. And this tote, we have everything that we need to set up our campsite um, and get things kind of moving. So on top here, I have our collapsible um, trash can. I actually got this at Walmart. I think it was like $8. And we keep our trash bags inside here and keep everything together. We have this little bitty tarp that I got at Dollar Tree. I actually packed this for Chip. Um, if his kennel, there's no shade to put his kennel in, we kind of put it by trees and then spread this tarp out over top of his kennel attached to the tree so he has some shade. We have a little shovel. We got this at um, Harbor Freight, I think. It, just helps with the um, campfire and anything that we need a shovel for. We have, let's see, our fire starters. So this is just toilet paper rolls and dryer lint. Um, I keep a bag in the laundry room that I just put all the dryer lint in and then when it gets full, I fill all our toilet paper rolls with dryer lint and then throw it in here and use this for a fire starter. 
We have multiple storage protectors. Um, these are great for um, the fridge, coffee pot, anything that we need. A long cord for power. I use this. This is actually 31. It's like a file holder, but it's soft sided, so it works really great. Um, this is our long extension cord. We also have a smaller extension cord for inside the tent. We have all kinds of rope. I'm sure all you ladies know your husbands need like 30 different sizes of rope, so we have lots of rope. Um, we picked this up at Harbor Freight too. It's a lot of different sized uh, carabiners. It's great for, you know, clipping stuff on the trees or whatever. These are extra large clothespins. They are from Dollar Tree. Um, I bought two packs of them and I just use them on the clothesline or to clip the tablecloth, whatever we need clips for. Duct tape, because you never know when you're going to need that. Our last trip, our pole snapped. That was fun. So we had to duct tape our pole in a couple of places. So always good to have this. We have a 30 amp converter just in case. Um, we haven't had to use it yet, but if we don't use it, we can use it when we buy a camper. So here's that. We also have a air pump. Um, we bought this when the girls were using air mattresses and it connects into the cigarette lighter of your car. Um, we haven't really used it since, but it inflates and deflates things, so I figured we would just keep it in here for pool floats or whatever we need. And then the last thing in the bottom of here is a couple pairs of leather work gloves, in case you know for hauling wood or whatever. Whatever you need work gloves for outside, we have some. So that's what goes in this tote. Then I have one more tote in here. This is the same size as um, the other one that I got from Target. This holds all of our lights, all of our flashlights, all of our batteries. So we have our lanterns in here, our solar lights from Dollar Tree. Put them around the camp. That's nice for at nighttime. Um, any headlamps? We have a couple of headlamps in here. Little flashlights for the girls. I have more flashlights somewhere. Um, all of our small flashlights, I just kind of collected it and threw them in here. And then batteries. I have tons of batteries, all Dollar Tree batteries because they're cheap, but they work. They really work, especially for something like this that we're not using nonstop. So I keep all of our lights together in here, and that is tote number three. Our last big tote, tote number four, is our supply tote. In this tote, we have all of the other miscellaneous things that you need uh, for camping. So we keep Everyone's extra shoes. Everyone wears a pair of shoes, and then we also take an extra pair. So if the girls are wearing sandals, their tennis shoes go in here. If they're wearing tennis shoes, their sandals go in here. I got these Eddie Bauer sandals at Sam's Club. I think they were like $12 a piece. And I think these are very good for like the river or the beach or whatever. They're super sturdy on the bottom, a lot better than flip-flops. So we have those for the girls. We have my hammock that I purchased on Amazon, um, Kutek, I don't know if that's right, but I got this on Amazon, I think it was like $22, it's amazing, it has adjustable straps, um, this is a two person one, so it will hold like, I think it said like 600 pounds, so I mean, we could all get in it, so it's really, really awesome, folds up very small, I have the dogs tie out, I have first aid kit, which I also purchased this at Walmart. Um, it was actually on clearance, and then I put like our, some of our own stuff in there. I have some laundry soap and dryer sheets because we do like to do laundry if we can the second to last day, so we're not bringing home so much laundry. Um, I have Brad's flip flops. I have our backpack for hiking. I. Don't really have much in it. Hand sanitizer. I think there's a notepad um, and chips water bowl, but this folds up super small, and I can just shove it in that tote. We have our bag that we use for the shower. This bag, mesh on one side, plastic on the other. I got it at Dollar Tree. It holds all of our scrubbies and our shower lanyards. I will actually go over how I made these shower lanyards in my Dollar Tree video, but I love these. They keep us hands free when we're in the shower and one less thing I have to worry about sitting down on the gross floor because I don't like that at all. So that's in here. 
I have our string lights. Um, they are 50 foot, also purchased these on Amazon. I could not camp without these. The first trip or so, we I think just the first two trips, we didn't take these. I don't know why. They were downstairs, I forgot about them. Um, and once I remembered that we had them, we put them up. Oh my gosh, it makes life so much easier just being able to see around your campsite. Like a campfire gives off light and a lantern is pretty like centralized to the lantern light. Um, but these 50 foot, I mean, it spreads all the way across our campsite. Amazing. Recommend. Don't travel without string lights. This is a heater slash fan. It has heat settings and fan settings and it's amazing we love it i will put a link to it in the description um we got this at walmart in georgia when we went to our savannah trip it actually has a button let's see on the bottom so if you have it on and it gets knocked over if the button isn't pushed in it won't run so i really like that with kids and a dog i don't have to worry about the heater you know tipping over and the vent being against something and it catching fire or ruining something or whatever so it has two heat settings two fan settings it's really strong um, it keeps our tent at like 80 degrees when it's like 40 degrees outside so it's amazing highly recommend and then the last thing in here is the girls play tote um, same, again same size tote that I got for all my other totes and it just has all the things in it so glow sticks um, this I don't know what this is called. Velcro, Velcro catch, a frisbee, um, little shovels. I got them this at the Target Dollar Spot. It's like a jumbo lemon and lime checkers board. They like that. We have chalk. We have notepads. Their own little hammocks. Um, for Easter, they got a scavenger hunt. I haven't used it yet, but it's a nature scavenger hunt I thought would be fun. We have this cute little s'more, let's see, s'more recipe book also from Amazon. And then I just got some coloring books and some books on camping. So this one's for Zoe, like a beginner, beginning reader. Keep the cat goes camping. This one I got for Jordan. United States Monuments and Parks. They each have their own bag of crayons in here and coloring books. I try to do two of everything. So everything is equal and nobody argues. So they kind of know that they have that little bag that they can get to. I, I mean, tote that they can get to. They can get into this whenever they want. I put it right under the picnic table so it's easy for them to reach um, and things that they can play with. That's it for tote number four. Our last two totes, I don't have numbered. They're just little small totes. Um, the first one, again, same size. That is Chip's tote. So it has his food and water bowls. I got these at Dollar Tree. They're plastic, pretty sturdy. Um, it has his leash, which usually when we're getting ready to leave, I'll pull this out and put this in the back seat with us. I have a bag um, with poop bags, a brush, and treats. Um, I like to keep treats with us when we're out doing things. It helps them stay focused somewhat. Um, his tie out, which we just got from Amazon. And then I also keep his ear medicine he has allergies um, and also when his ears get wet they get really yeasty so I have this um, ear cleaner that I got on Amazon and then I have his prescription ear meds along with cotton balls and I keep all that in this tote and we also keep this tote at the very back by the tailgate and I will also add food to this um, when we're getting ready to leave I keep it at the back of the tailgate in case we need anything while we're traveling because we've made that mistake before where we buried his bowls we stopped for the night and we had to unload the entire truck in the dark to try to find his food to give him dinner. So that was a mess. So that's Chip's tote. And then the last tote we have, this one's a little bit bigger. I had this one already. This is our bug tote, I call it. Um, it has all of our bug spray, all of our sunscreen, and also just random little things. So first thing on top is our braid. We did not, have not used this. I don't want to use it unless I have to use it, but we, um, at, our, at our trip to Lake Wapapello, we found out once we were breaking down camp, taking it down our tent, that we were on top of an ant hill, literally millions of ants underneath of our tent. So this would have been nice to have then to kind of spray before we set up camp. Um, since then, I'm very cautious about where, where we set things up and I keep this with us just in case. 
And then of course we have bug spray for the family. I have bug bands, um, this little citronella thing, a couple of citronella candles, more candles. Honestly, do not pay full price for this stuff. Um, right now, Target, let's see, it's um, July 2nd. So Target is already clearancing out some of this stuff. Go to Target, go to Walmart, find this stuff on clearance. You can get it for a quarter of the price. I got three citronella candles yesterday for $5 of the off-brand. So don't pay full price. Definitely go um, at the end of the season. I have hand warmers just because I had them and I threw them in here. Um, and then I have sunscreen. Again, clearance, sunscreen. Don't pay full price for this stuff. I have chapstick. And then I also have some face sticks that I keep in here. And then... Um, Brad purchased this butane lighter that he loves. So we keep that in here and then an extra can of fuel. So all of this stuff fits in here real nice. And then this tote is small so we can just kind of shove it in um, when we are loading up the truck. So those are our totes, I guess our six totes that we use when we go camping. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you um, make lists and plan for your camping trip. Please like, subscribe, share our channel with your friends. We appreciate everything that you guys do um, watching us and sharing. I hope you liked it. Have a great day. Bye.